All right, somebody on YouTube asked me the other day uh, at what point, or, or I guess like at what age, I think was her question, or his question, I don't remember. Um, anyway, when do I start hanging these bridles on these on these young horses? And, and I like them to hang around, hold bridle a lot, as much as I can get away with. And I, I said, well, you know, it depends on their age and this and that, but kind of as early as I can. I don't remember exactly what I said, but I, I wanna, take this opportunity to, to show something. So this is a bit, Rod Tuzier made this bit. I had it built without any silver, specifically for hanging, um, it, because I didn't want to knock the silver off. Anyway, this is a copy of Tony Amarale's Magini spade that he got from Sam Magini. Um, and so this is this is kind of what I like to, to hang on a horse. Uh, even if I have no intention of ever riding them into a spade or, or using a spade. Um, this is a, a bit I like. Their tongue gets really, really humble with this. Um, it, it works really good. Horses like it, they get to drooling real fast. But you can see that spade, that's, shoot, I don't know, five and a half inches long or something like that. That sucker's pretty long. So that's something I, I, I don't want to put on a horse with a real immature mouth. You know, so they're, they're a long three, maybe four year old, uh, before I want to put something like this on them and hang it on them just because there's, there's just too much going on. It's just not going to fit. There's just not room. So with these younger horses and this horse I'm going to show you here, she's a she's kind of a long two-year-old. Um, I bought this bit off eBay and I, I bought it specifically for for doing what I do here with this. Um, but I've, I've also used this bit. It's a pretty good little bit. The spade there, that's a uh, brake pedal off Model T and I knocked the roller out uh, I didn't knock the roller out on purpose it just wore out so I need to get that repaired but you see it's a little short shank guy it's maybe four inches I don't know three and a half but it's it's a solid inch narrower right here um, and so it works better on Colts they, they they like to hold it better there's not so much rattling around in their face um, there's less cheek for them to to catch stuff on so this is this is a bit um, that I like to use for that. So all I'm saying is, you know, you, you'd be darn lucky to find something like this on eBay, like I did, because obviously somebody built this for a specific horse. Um, but but for these younger horses, and it doesn't have to be a spade; it can be a little low ported grazer or, or whatever. You just want something with less going on with these younger horses, and if you can find one with a narrower narrower cannon. Um, which isn't that hard to find. They're they're all over the place. Um, most Arab bits are, and, um, a lot of bits for ponies and things like that are, are narrower here, four and a half inches. And that works better if you want to hang it on a two-year-old. So I'm gonna do that right quick. So like I said, this is a two-year-old and she's got a, a fine little face. Of course, I don't do this at all until their teeth have been floated. I floated her teeth and pulled her wolf teeth out. And she's had this on a time or two. But I try to be real gentle at first putting that on. And again, so you see it's got the little short shanks there so she can't, it's a lot tougher for her to get tangled up in anything there. It's quite a bit narrower with that other bit. There'd just be so much bit sticking out on either side she wouldn't ever be able to find a comfortable way to hold it. No matter how she held it, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't fit very good or very balanced in her mouth. So. There you go after 30 seconds, probably wasn't even 30 seconds, she quieted her mouth down. Um, I'm not gonna let her eat with it, but she quieted her mouth down, figured out a balanced way to hold it, how she likes it. And I haven't set everything up here yet to where I can hang hang something from the rafters like I like to. And when I say hang, I don't want anybody to think they're, I'm hanging, I'm hanging them. I just have a rope coming down so I can tie it like this in the middle of their pen so they can't get tangled up in anything and they can move around. Um, so with her, I've just been tying her with this bit on. Again, it doesn't have any silver, so there's nothing to knock around. But that's what I do. And then, uh, you know, however long a day, sometimes it's 30 minutes a day, sometimes it's a couple hours. Uh, she went to the she went to the sail barn with me yesterday and just stood there saddled tied to the fence, watching sail barn happen and held this bit. And there was a big pool of drool under, under her when it was done. And then of course, whenever you take these off, be 
darn careful to let them spit it out. Don't ever pull it off. You only got to bang those teeth once or twice before they're hard to bridle. She says, this is ridiculous. I don't know why you came in and did that. Well, you're a movie star now, sis. That's how. Thank you so much to, to the Patreon crew. You guys are the reason we're able to do this and, uh, and do the extra things and, and, and really do all the YouTube videos too. We wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to make it work without you guys. So thank you so much. And any of the rest of you, you can jump on and watch any of these, these extra kind of things that, that we do on Patreon and, and see what's going on there. So check that out if you can.